Right on the set. Here he comes. Shh. So, Mickey, tell us a few things about Jay Rizzullo. Rizzullo. Jay Rizzullo. Is this on? Rizzullo. Rizzullo? What office is it that he's running for? Sure, wasn't he on The Sopranos? I think there's an Italian restaurant in Brooklyn by the name of Rizzullo's. Oh, yeah. There aren't too many names we see on all these different databases. CIA, FBI, Homeland Security. Yeah, I think we saw him on every one of those. Hmm, Jay Rizzullo. Everybody knows Jay Rizzullo. Come on. A great guy, a great friend. Everybody knows Jay. Let me tell you about my friend Jay Rizzullo. Jay is restless in his pursuit of excellence. Jay inspires people to action. You know what? Don't just take it from me. Everyone who meets him feels the same way. I first met Jay Rizzullo when he worked for us back in the 1980s. 20-some years ago at Marriott, he was one of the whiz kids that Marriott brought in to make a difference and chart our future. TIA in the past has really been an organization that would, because of resources, report the news. If you look at the history of TIA, they were always an organization sort of obsessed with numbers. After 9-11, we lost an awful lot of international business. We had no budget, we had no minister of tourism, we had nobody in this country really uh, saying, come to America and here's why. He came along at a time when we needed someone with his type of leadership. He came to us at a moment when the industry was crying out for people who understood the mission. Jay was a real leader in, in recognizing that the travel industry had to promote itself and had to go before Congress and take the lead and, and describe the benefits, the jobs that this created for Americans and the revenues that the travel and tourism industry bring to our country. The Travel Industry Association approached me at the end of 2005 and asked me if I would chair the Travel Industry Association. The first kind of act that you have is to address collected industry leaders in a speech called the state of the industry. I chose that moment to really use kind of a lightning rod um, kind of phrase to get the industry organized. I equated the situation that we were in at that time with Kennedy's aspirations to reach the moon. The travel and tourism industry had to have an Apollo-like mission to improve and reverse the decline uh, in tourism that the U.S. had seen and he gets out and he does this Apollo speech and he paints a picture bigger than anybody could imagine of what this industry could be. I'll never forget, he had a dream with a deadline. And all of a sudden people said, hey, we can be something different. And sure enough, he didn't just make one speech and leave town. He came back and he came back. Jay had said, he said, you know what we really need, we need a blueprint. We've got to get some folks together that really believe in this and will fund it. And that started the Discover America partnership. We were fortunate that Steve Porter volunteered to chair that organization. Steve will be greatly missed uh, in our industry. Jay and his colleagues came in to see me on behalf of the travel industry and said it made a very convincing case that security and hospitality and travel go hand in hand. It makes a lot of sense. And they laid out a blueprint for action involving uh, the Congress of the United States that I bought into uh, lock, stock and barrel. Without travel, you don't have an economy. It's interesting, you know, when, when Dwight Eisenhower was president, he said, America didn't build the interstate highway system. The interstate highway system built America. And what Jay has been able to do and continues to do is to continue to give that wake up call to the rest of the country that without the infrastructure of travel, we don't have an economy. And so I was very, very proud to work uh, with Jay and his team to promote the interest of not only the industry, but we did it in a way that I think promoted the broader interest uh, of the United States of America. And when you have a twofer like that, you like to be part of it. Discover America partnership was really a well-conceived idea. It was really uh, encouraging to see that there was money behind it and that there was activity behind it and that ultimately there were results. We've increased the visa waiver program, we've got more customs and border protection people, but most important is the Travel Promotion Act that was almost a dream that 17 months later is becoming a reality. And it's the first real effort and first legislation that I've been aware of that uh, the country's ever engaged in, in trying to establish a reason to come to the United States, worldwide marketing, worldwide advertising. And Jay has been a strategic partner, a visionary who understands 
the role of airports in welcoming visitors. Jay's vision was all about how do we create a true public-private partnership. And we got involved in the Model Ports program, and Jay said, I'm going to show you what it looks like. We know that the first 100 steps within the United States is vitally important to the impression that an international traveler gets about the place that he's arrived. Well, I was so grateful that Walt Disney and Jay, specifically under Jay's leadership, stepped forward and offered to help the State Department in producing a video because the old saying goes, you never have a second chance to make a first impression. Of all the things that could be highlighted about a visit to the U.S., we decided to talk about and think about the people of the U.S. Then it took a whirlwind 35-state tour um, doing photographs and, and, and video of ordinary Americans, no celebrities, people in normal walks of lives, and really created a tapestry, a portrait. Jay's contribution to the travel and tourism industry has been pivotal to increasing tourism to the United States. Jay did a service not only to the travel and tourism industry, but also to our entire country. The really cool thing about Jay is that he brings a certain magic to the tourism industry, and when you think about it, that's not so much a surprise when you consider where he works. And when you bring that kind of magic there, guess what happens? You inspire everybody around you. In 17 months, we become a totally different organization, and if Jay hadn't been here, we might still be reporting the news. He is someone uh, who's impacted uh, national legislation. He's been a true champion of travel and tourism throughout America, as he really embodies what we're all about, the spirit of the law. He's really a bridge builder. His sleeves are rolled up, he's ready to go to work. A consummate leader. A passionate advocate for not only travel and tourism, but also for America. Being the chairman of a large organization is probably very different than people imagine. It's actually different than I imagined. First of all, I have a huge team. I have a huge team of talented people. And I see my job in that process as really provoking talented people to do their best. And it's really a passion of mine and something I love. Jay, on behalf of all of us at Marriott, we congratulate one of our most famous alums on being inducted into the TIA Hall of Leaders. Terrific. Congratulations to Jay on his election to the Hall of Leaders from the entire Travel Weekly family. Jay, I can think of no individual who deserves to be in the TIA Hall of Leaders more than you. Congratulations, Jay, on this well-deserved honor. Congratulations. It's been a lifetime of achievement. You're a legacy, a dear friend, and a mentor I'll never forget. Congratulations, Jay. Mahalo, my friend. Keep up the good work. On behalf of the city of Los Angeles and, of course, myself, congratulations. Congratulations, Jay. You really deserve this, and if it doesn't work out, there's still an opening on the Jungle Cruise. I want to say on behalf of TIA, on behalf of myself, but on behalf of the industry, thanks. You made a difference. You got us on a path that we're never going to look back from. We made a difference, and hopefully sometime in the future we'll be able to find a way to work together again. But in the meantime, enjoy your evening. And by the way, if you get a chance to get a day or two off, you get down to Disney. They tell me they got some great parks and resorts. You might enjoy them. <laughs>